Hey guys, I'm still not in my regular classroom or I have my new one set up, but I have so many people certifying at the moment on these levels and there's just not a lot of videos um, on training on these levels. So I wanted to make a quick video on how to teach the letter X for your certification for level three. Um, I have the level P video, so remember you have to know both lessons. You have to be prepared to teach both lessons. Your interviewer will actually choose which lesson you are going to teach when you log on. So be prepared for both. Um, so for a reward, um, not that I would really suggest using this one for certifying or interviews, but it is a really great one to use in class, especially with older kids. They really love it. It's tic-tac-toe. So I'm going to use it just to show you the no prep version. Um, I have or I can use like other tic-tac-toe boards where they see the whole time and they're or magnet or felt. But I had a student one day that was totally uninterested in every reward I had, which is fine because I always try to use a different reward. Um, that that helps keep them interested in class when they're interested in the reward and i'm like hey do you like to play tic tac toe i'm like yeah so this is what i came up with i numbered the squares it's also super easy you can draw it on the screen it's so like um if they're super fast at playing tic tac toe like every few slides you can draw a board real quick and play the whole game and then i keep a tally of who wins and who doesn't or you can do it this way where as your reward they get to choose a square that's what you do um you have you do play one round um, the reward so this is what we're going to do for the reward today and um you will notice slide one two three okay slides nine and ten is a memory game when i certified in this um even though the lessons have changed part of them are still the same so those two slides were almost a year ago in what I did in my mock class and so what I did was I printed out both of those slides I cut out the yellow triangles and I put a little piece of tape at the top so it made a window um, and then that's how I used it so I wasn't flipping back and forth and then that, that was my visual so I held it up and so we I just pointed um, so I'm going to use my really quick pretend version of that and so that's what this is supposed to represent it's all of those yellow squares and they would be a little flap that you lift up um, and I promise once I get settled and things calm down a little bit, like I will legitimately teach this class all the way through so there's no confusion. But if you can just follow with me, then maybe this will help get you through the next few days um, if you're trying to certify this week. All right, so I'm going to wait for my timer to switch and I'll get started. Hello, my name is Teacher Brittany. What is your name? Hello, Kevin. Kevin, how are you today? Yes, thank you. I am fine too. Good. Kevin, did you have a good day? Yes, yes I had a good day. Good. Did you go to school today? Yes, good. What? did you like at school? Yes. Most boys like PE. <laughs> Good. Well, are you ready? Good. Let's go. Kevin, today when you do a good job, we are going to play tic-tac-toe. I will win. <laughs> we'll see. Ready? Good. Let's go circle. What do you see? I see a tomato. Good. Kevin, what do you see? Yes. Arm. I see an elbow. Good job. What do you see? Yes, very good, Kevin. Good job. Kevin, 
What do you see? Next slide, letter X. What do you see? <clears throat> My pretend letter X. Yes, X. Oh, big X. Small X. What sound does X make? Eliciting full sentences. Yes, good job, Kevin. Okay. Do you want to be X or O? X or O? Okay. You go first. I'll choose six. Good job, Kevin. Okay. That's good. What do you see? I see... Yes, good job. Oh, I see an ox. Yes, good job, Kevin. I see an ox. Very good. Can you circle the letter X? Good job. Ox. Very good. Kevin. Fox. Ox. Yes. Good job. What sound does X make? Very good. Do you do we do? X tax. Yes, Max. Good job. Very good. Oh, Kevin, what do you see? And I'm going to circle them one at a time. Oh, I see an X. Good job. I see a fox. I see an ox. X. Fox. Ox. Fox. Remember, <gasps> hmm. 
what do you see? Yes! I see an X. Good job. Hmm. Good job, Fox. Good job. Hmm. Yes, an ox. Good job. Yes, I see a fox. Very good. Very good. Okay. All right, your turn. Hmm. I'll choose eight. Good job. Very good. Good job. Mm, mix. Mix. Yes, good job. T -t Ticks. Ticks. Yes, good job, Kevin. Alright. Oh, no! Kevin, do you know? What we call it when nobody wins? Teacher didn't win. Kevin didn't win. We call that a draw. Nobody wins. <gasps> no. Kevin, next time I will win. I will see you next time. Bye. Okay, guys, so it was a few seconds over 10 minutes. But um, one of the great things about tic-tac-toe, if you keep score and make it a competition, is that your older students want to come back <laughs> because they want to beat you. Um, and and I'll say I have a problem winning because they are really good at tic-tac-toe. So don't expect to win often, but if you can, it's great because it keeps them coming back to your class over and over. So that is how I would teach X. So remember X and P, know them both for level three. And if you have any questions, please let me know. I'm gonna put my referral link below. And so if you're ready to get started, you've been nervous about the whole VIP kid thing, you just don't know how it's gonna work, then let me know and I can walk you through the whole process. Um, if you have any questions at all or you're nervous about your interview or teaching, let me know and I can help you with that as well.